gratitude for all the kind offers that came after my last video. And <laughs> I mean, it's almost like a wealth of opportunities. And, um, you know, probably like in most cases, most of them won't work out. But the ones that do, are going to be very wonderful experiences. I can already feel it coming. So, the situation here is that I'm probably going to have to leave by end of November or end of December at the latest. So, I can go camp out in Sri Lanka for a month or so, come back to India on a new visa, but they're only issuing visas for a month now. So I could take that time to finish up all my business here, sell all my stuff that I won't take on the road, and make other arrangements, business and so on, and then go to Europe somewhere in Europe in spring, like beginning to middle of March. So what I'm asking everybody who has kindly offered to host me, is that they look into arranging events. And this could be a public speaking. It could be a TV or radio show appearance. Uh, it could be a seminar or workshop on a particular subject. Any of the topics that we cover on this channel is fine. And also a way to develop the people that come into uh, deep practitioners of yoga, meditation, like that. So in that line, I had a wonderful email conversation with Richard Clark. He's one of the senior people from the West in Arunachala. He lives in Mexico now. And he suggested that I create an online survey or uh, test of some kind to determine where people are on the path and what would be the best next step. I think this is a great idea. And it's kind of amazing that I didn't think of it myself. <laughs> But, you know, from my point of view, it's always been perfectly clear to me where I'm at. And while the next step hasn't always been perfectly clear, now that I know the system of the four yogas, four states of consciousness and so on, four stages of learning and so on, all these things we've covered on this channel, that this would be the best way to bring people into our view, our system, uh, the four darshanas, four vadas, or views. So I'm going to be working on that. Right now it's kind of on the back burner, but I'm not going to forget <laughs> because this is a, such a good idea. See, Richard has much more experience than I do presenting these truths taught by Ramana Maharshi and others to Western audience. So he is uh, more knowledgeable and skilled in the social dealings with Westerners than I am. So anyway, I'm going to take his suggestion very seriously because it's a good one, darn good one. Now, some people asked about my health. And what's going on with that, between my doctors and I, I finally figured out what happened. And when I went to uh, Kodai Kanal, about, what was it, about almost two months ago now. I must have picked up 
some kind of a virus or bug, bacteria, I don't know what it was. In any case, I got a urinary tract infection and that spread to my kidneys. And so my adrenal glands were affected. I was losing control over the temperature of my body. My, my body temperature was going up and down. It was really weird. I thought, the doctors thought also that I had diabetes, but then I got a blood test and my blood sugar level is like <laughs> flat. So it wasn't diabetes. And I started taking some Ayurvedic medicine, some homeopathic medicines, and even allopathic medicines to target this area. And so it cleared up pretty fast and it's almost gone now. Just the, what's left is still the lower back pain and soreness in my hips, but that is slowly improving. And knowing from the last time I had something similar to this, which was about seven years ago, it's going to take some time to clear up because anything with the joints heals very slowly. But anyway, uh, I know what it is now. I know how to treat it. I just need a little more rest than usual. I can't exercise as much as I would like, but all that will slowly uh, resolve in the next few months. By the time I get to Europe, I should be in pretty good shape, 95%. Right now I'm about 80%. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm getting excited about it. I'm starting to think, you know, not in big plans, like starting organizations. I don't believe in organizations. I believe in people. Relationships means that we have to have a common ground for communication. I believe over the last 10 years on this video channel, I have established that common ground. And if you want to know more about that, look in the video description. There's a link to our prospectus, our video catalog. And that has all the topics arranged by the seven chakras. And that way you can see how we divide up these different teachings and how they one leads to another and another and so on. And ultimately, when Ma is pleased, when Shakti, goddess, is pleased, she will grant the realization. So I'm looking forward to this now. <laughs> At first I was dreading it. But now I think, yeah, this is going to work. And um, looks like it could actually be fun. So the timings are, I'm coming to Europe sometime in March. But the summer, that is probably June through September, something like that, I'm going to be in Norway with my old partner, and we're going to be doing intensive Tantra practices. So that time is spoken for, but the spring and the fall is wide open for any of you that want to organize events and pu publicize and promote them in your area. Now, I'm not into charging money. I, I really don't need the money, <laughs> but if you want to charge a small fee for your use of your facilities or wherever we gather the people together, um, that's okay. And also your time and effort in organizing things. That's fine. So to try to make it as affordable as possible, keep the costs low. Use online tools you know, post the event on Facebook or something like that. And bring people from your area into communication with us. Show them the video channel. Show them the video catalog so that they can understand the approach. And I'm going to be working on the assessment or the a survey or whatever you want to call it for people to self-identify 
what their interests are and where they want to go next. So I think together we can organize a very nice teaching program that will result in people becoming disciples. Now, I'm not interested in casual disciples. Yeah, I'll present to a room full of people. But as far as discipleship goes, I'm only interested in serious, long-term disciples. And because we're not establishing any kind of organization, there's not going to be any positions or roles or titles. There might be initiations. It depends on the person and what they need to advance. So I'm looking forward very much to meeting some of you face to face, in person, live, instead of on TV, <laughs> and offering these teachings as a service to all humanity for their spiritual upliftment and approach to complete enlightenment. Aum Tatsat. Aum Shakti Aum.